Gordon, there's not many changes, but Sean Maloney uh, returns. He was certainly one of the cornerstones in the last campaign. What do you think he'll bring this time around? Well, he brings enthusiasm, ability, professionalism. He's not started many games for Hull this year, but um, he played against Stoke last week and he's played very well. And he's also been coming on as sub and been very effective, so um, that might be something for him. Um, but uh, there's a hole in the squad when he's not here. So eventually one day he'll have to pack in. Um, but we feel that uh, these two games coming up, uh, we need good players in this. And Oliver Burke, another man involved, he's been in sensational form of late since signing for RB Leipzig, assisted the winning goal in his debut and then scored in his first start just at the weekend. As a manager, how do you sort of look after a player who's had such a meteoric rise but yet he's so young? Well, I only get him every now and then. Other people look, looked after him so far, and the people who've been looking after him so far have obviously done a smashing job. Uh, we can only, when he comes along with us, um, look after him. Still a young man, um, but he's doing more for us than we're doing for him, that's for sure. And Lee Griffiths has been in some stunning form for Celtic already this season. Maybe a frustration that he wasn't involved in Malta, but maybe excited to see him no, back involved. Right. Everybody who played there at Malta uh, to score five goals away from home. And I think uh, if you look at Celtic, the four games he's missed, they've scored 17. So it looks like you can still score goals without Lee Griffiths. Uh, but it's, it's nice to have him back. What do you think he'll bring to the squad? Goals. Goals. Uh, change of pace. Uh, and as I say, a hunger to score goals. And Darren Fletcher, if he plays in one of the next two games, um, it will be his 75th cap. How much does he bring to the group? He's obviously a, a sort of an inspirational figure. I think as a as a young player, whether it was at Dundee or whether it was coming to the Aberdeen or when I come to the Scotland squad, that yes, yeah, some of your best coaching and best learning experiences looking at great players and how great players go about their job. So I think that's what Darren bring, not brings a, um, his ability and his professionalism, his determination to the squad, but he. Um, He's a, he's a great barometer for other players and what, what they should be doing. And next Saturday, Lithuania come to town in the first home qualifier. Um, you must be really looking forward to sort of getting out in front of the home fans and building on that marvellous win against Malta. I am, but I'm wary of Lithuania. See them playing against Poland. Got a good draw in Poland, played well. 2 2 against Slovenia at home. Um, England's probably the hardest game in the qualifying last year over the last two years, but probably Slovenia went to a 3-2 game. So that's what we're up against, we're up against some good players.